Hi, and welcome to That Morning Show. My name is Tammy Iser. That would be Furby who's talking. And we also have... Robert Cam. And Sarah Jackson. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Well, we're first going to talk about our lovely set. Yeah. As you can see. Which we stole. Which, From yes. the Denton Kids Club. <laughs> oh, my. They're and there's all kinds birdies. of creatures back there to possess. Yeah. The creatures came with the set. We they had just come true. with it. You set true. it up and... They're yeah, here. we they didn't just... fumigate before we got here. <laughs> <laughs> they're crawling all over the place. At least they're not roaches. <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem with that. I'd what be a like, I'm thought. not doing this show anymore until you get the, remote, <laughs> the roaches removed. From it... the set. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Anyways, I wanted to talk about my foot. Oh, oh good morning, I, Simon. Oh. What's going on? We're having that morning show. Hey. hey. Welcome to the morning, Simon. I don't know. I can't even open my eyes. I'm so <laughs> tired. <laughs> my gosh, Simon. We had Simon. a little problem with Simon's eyes. And you're disturbing me. <laughs> what are you doing in the clubhouse? Well, we we're, we're doing that morning show, Simon. We, we had to borrow the set. Punks. We don't have a set of our Get own. Get out of the clubhouse. You don't, you don't, I don't think Simon else. wants us here. I know, Simon, that's <laughs> kind of scary. Simon's a tree being... is mad at us. Yeah, so that's no, kind of no. creepy. Just don't throw any acorns at us, all right? Don't like most horror movies I'm start out with a tree that hates and everybody? Back, I think so. One of my eyes then go back to sleep. Okay. All right, good night, okay. Simon. We'll try not to bother you. <laughs> oh, my you. word. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's so Simon, that's talent right there. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't roll my eyes back like that either. That's real creepy. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. That's Sleepy Simon, the, no, that's Silly Simon, the silly Sleeping Simon, Sycamore. The Sleeping Sycamore. Ah, oh, wow. Alliteration. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's tongue twister. Well, I want to talk today about my foot because I injured myself <laughs> sure on did. Friday. And in a, in a basketball class that was on this campus for UNT, and my other PE class, which happens to be aerobics, made me drop it because I couldn't participate. And I don't think it's fair because I'm not getting any money back. Oh, dude, you just yeah. get your money back. That's true. Did they make you drop a class? That's yeah. a mess. They made me drop a class. And I felt I mean, under should, 12 hours. They should be giving you money anyway. You should get, like, schoolman's comp for that because you did it on the, in the class, right? That's what I think. The like, schoolman's comp or student comp or something like that. Or at least, okay, you know what their solution was? No. To put me in this exercise for the atypical class, which means if you get hurt, you're supposed to transfer in that for class. The for the atypical, typical? the atypical student. Like, I only have one good foot, so I'm the atypical PE student. I don't oh know. <laughs> anyway. That's weird. So <laughs> they have this class, which my sister took. When she was in college, so you're when supposed she had to knee play surgery. basketball anyway. Well, no, <laughs> you hop on one foot. <laughs> I'm to hop on one with crutch, right? No, I'm supposed to be in this class to do rehab or whatever until I can go back to my rose class. Well, the class didn't make this semester because they didn't have any students for it, so I just got booted out of my aerobics class. So. And you don't get any. I don't get any money. Or... I don't get any any kind of compensation except bye bye. Wow, <laughs> that's real See sad. See you later. I think it's sad, and not only that. Do you need that? Class? I know I needed it for the 12 hours, but I was afraid they were gonna take my money away from me like financial aid But they didn't so oh, okay. as long as they didn't take the financial aid, but Yeah, well enough about disabilities. Um, I, I Think we better go to a break yes. and we'll be back and do more exciting fun things <laughs> What is this? Shut up, I do it all the time. <laughs> it's like a Nixon thing. You got a light? <coughs> can, I get a, can I get a cigarette from you? Hey, Give me a damn smoke. Excuse me, do you smoke? Have a cigarette. Hey, you got a light? <coughs> Give me a damn cigarette. <coughs> I wouldn't be cussing if I had a cigarette, you know what I'm saying? Can I get a candle, <coughs> please? Hey, can I have one of those? I need it to calm my nerves, <coughs> man. Oh, burning. No matter how many you smoke, smoke. What's that, Furby? <laughs> he loves this, man. That is so cool. He's having so much fun today. <laughs> that he is. That's so cute. I wish I could flap my ears like that. <laughs> <laughs> that would 
be great. That would be cool. Dude, I'd you could go on the road. Try to get, like, some guy that I don't like would come talk to me, and I'd be like, woo, bye-bye. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> oh, that, my word. I don't know. I think it'd be a turnoff if somebody, somebody's ears started flapping. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Man, those things are scary. They're like, they're supposed to learn things from yeah. you and yeah. stuff. I think he learned how to imitate the phone. Yeah. Because I heard him like ringing. <laughs> he was ringing. He was like, ring, ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, that's crazy. Furby, do you have anything for us to talk about this morning? <laughs> I think the Furby want to wants to talk about communism. I think communism. He does. Oh, my word, oh. and so do the birds. The birds, the man, birds like Hooray. communism. I'm so glad we set up tent in this uh, communist play playhouse here. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't tell them Denton Kids Club's a communist playhouse. They no, it's not a communist <laughs> playhouse. <laughs> they won't let their kids watch it if it's communist. It's like the McCarthyism. That'd be great. That'd I still be don't great. understand this communism thing. I really explain to me your your positive view of communism for me. Everybody's equal, and like it, okay, there are so many problems with capitalism. Yeah. You got uh, everybody's in it for the money. Every, you know, if you don't have that kind of issue, if people don't make say okay, lawyer. Everybody wants to be a lawyer. Everybody wants to be a doctor. I don't. Because they make a lot of money, right? And I don't know who decides that these guys are the ones that, making, that make the most money. I guess because they've got the most school. Yeah. But that, when there's so many lawyers and so many doctors in the world and they have to do things for money, they're going to cause problems just so, like doctors are going to cause medical problems so that they can treat you. Well, not and lawyers are going to cause, I don't know, they're going to cause Because, you know, they do that. Bishop. Because if a doctor causes a medical problem, then he's got to deal with a lawyer. So. <laughs> I guess the lawyers are there to police the doctors. <laughs> it's true. And they keep them all in check. But, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I was in this store once, and they had these posters. And they had communist posters. It was great. It was like... It was all in Russian, but uh, they had translation. It had this like kid with a violin, and he was like shivering out in the cold, and it was like, here, a musician in a communist country. And then it had the same person, but in a suit, and he was like playing for like magical like people, and it was like a musician in a communist country. It was oh, great. well. That's interesting. The problem, yeah. I know the problem with communism, I've ever, the only big problem I've ever seen is number one, you're dealing with a dictator. Why do you want a dictator? No, in theory, I don't, yeah, in you don't theory, have to be a dictator. See, you can have democratic communism, you know? That would be socialism. Well. Yeah, in theory, communism is not what it actually is in practice. In practice, it doesn't really work very well. Because the theory is that you, um, the, pro, the proletariat will revolt against the bourgeoisie. And, um, oh, we have to go to a break. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, we've got two political We're not here. going to a break. We're going to a package. Oh, yeah. We're, actually, this is the package of, with Hunter S. Thompson. Oh, he went yeah. to Hunter yeah. S. Thompson goes to Washington. Let's check this out. This should be, should be highly entertaining. It's true. It's true. It's over there, right? And you be quiet. We are here on assignment in Washington, D.C. This is a mission with overtones of extreme personal danger. We've flown here to our nation's capital to cover a story. You got no uh, got us a smoking plane? Huh? Martin Luther King weekend is usually one of those great American holidays that are appreciated in good patriotic consumerist fashion. Not this time. This time, the pigs have pushed us too far. We really know what it's all about. It's about uh, somebody else's possession. It's about oil. Basically, you know, and it seems like Bush just wants to use any excuse that he can possibly come up. He wants to find something, you know. But I really think that what we really should be trying to do is find another alternative. What would Oscar Wilde have said about the brutal war being waged for the sake of the status quo? Would Gene Robbins know what to do with a vial of anthrax and a hand grenade? Never mind. The important thing to remember in any case is I am not a terrorist. Man, this thing's moving. Let's get back to brass tacks here. 24 hours ago, we were sitting in a dive bar on Fry Street, of course, eating the hamburger special with fries on the side. I think maybe we should get some extracts of pineal. 
Man, listen, I'm telling you, we need to do something about this war. Washington, D.C., that's where we need to be. We need to go out there and give George Bush a piece of our minds. You mean attack that pig sucker on his home turf? There's this huge protest this weekend. As your cameraman, I advise you to buy a ticket on a jumbo jet to Washington, D.C. Gonzo journalism at its best. You'll need a camera and a tripod. That blows my weekend. Why? Because naturally, I'm going to have to go with you. You'll need plenty of camera work before this is over with. Why not? Is there anything worth doing? It's worth doing right. The camera, tripod, mics, and other things were no problem to get a hold of. We called in a favor from an old friend. But the protest signs were not easy to round up the night before hopping on a plane to D.C. We decided to go without them and make them when we got there. And that I mean, people are talking about imperialism and how the U.S. is starting to build an empire now. But really, if you look back on it, there's been this gigantic American financial empire. We're looking at a major cultural shift. Things have got to change. What is the meaning of all this? I mean, all this talk of social change and reform? Does it really matter if the voters are upset? Democracy hasn't been present in this country since the Nixon years. Or maybe longer. Permit? Oh. What? Permit to do these things? So I guess it's time to fight the good fight. Why not? Another puppet competing for the opportunity to take a stand. The American dream is present in the hearts and minds of overachievers. Those that think, I might make a difference if I ran for president. That is the ultimate goal. So after giving this a little thought, I've decided to follow the American dream. I've decided to run for president. Sure, make a few speeches, show up for our baseball games and political luncheons. Could be fun. How do you spell Thompson? T H T H O M P S O N. The only thing left to do is campaign. What are you doing, man? Let's go. And what better opportunity to kick off my campaign trail? These protesters are ripe with fear. And now they're running amok in the streets of Washington, D.C. This is a perfect place to start my campaigning. These are my kind of people. Vote for me. Vote for me. This seems like a hot ticket. Hey, I got two votes. Ticket. <laughs> that was Hunter S. Thompson running for president. How do you know cool. Hunter S. Thompson? That's what I want to know. I, I don't really know him. He, he really? just sends these things to us. We, we put it on air. That's know. crazy. It's funny that he didn't know how to spell his last name. That is funny. I think it's all the drugs. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. The ether, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. That was great, though. So I'd he vote was for him. on a big political trip, huh? Yeah, that's yeah. exciting. You know, he's been on the show before. On yeah, the Halloween episode. Yeah, I remember yeah that. he was there. I remember seeing that, yeah. Yeah, he was here. We had all kinds of people on that show. Yeah, we it's did. True. None of us were there, though. Oh, no. 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 Yeah, was. they wouldn't let us do the Halloween episode. I don't know. It's true. It kicked us off. Yeah. Those Crazy damn producers. Thing. Yeah, I hate those producers. Yeah. The producers of this show really suck. <laughs> What's that, Simon? <laughs> all right. right on. Cool. I think Simon's it. <laughs> Bark for brains. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of low, isn't it, man? Wow. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Um, wow. Well, you know what's funny about that protest, though, that Hunter was at in mm. Washington, D.C.? Yeah. The answer group is the one that put those on. Man, I heard all over the, the news group? they're calling them communists. Really? Well, I think they're calling them, they're saying, yeah, they're, they're calling well, them communists. The, well, the they're trying to, like, disavow, yeah, yeah. That's, that's their insult, <laughs> it's right? It's true. It's their insult. Oh, they're just communists. They, yeah. What do they know? Yeah. yeah. If you don't but like someone, you can I call think, them a commie or a fascist. Yeah, what's yeah. up with that? Uh, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, what's wrong with being a fascist, exactly? You know? I mean, what exactly is a fascist? <laughs> I don't know. I, fascist that's like is Nazi Mussolini and, and Hitler. They yeah. were fascists. Yeah. They're bad. We're close to fascism. <laughs>
Oh my! Yeah. The birds, the they're birds agree. agree. <laughs> yes. I guess they do agree. I don't know really what's going on on this show today. I like today. the fact that the birds have political opinions back there. <laughs> hey. There should be a political show just with the little birds. You know, they could interview like congressmen. You know, and they're like, you know, well, I think that I'm going to start doing this and this. And the birds. Ah, ah. Oh yes. <laughs> You'd have to have somebody good. slightly more intelligent than a congressman to interview him, though. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just to interview the birds? <laughs> no, to interview the... I don't know. Well, maybe <laughs> maybe what I'm trying to say is that the uh -huh. birds are too smart to interview the congressman. I don't know. The congressman needs somebody These less. are smart birds. I, never mind. Just forget what I was saying <laughs> okay. today. Uh, I'll, I'll let it slide this time. Okay. 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 But anyways, um, we're going to take another break. That morning show, we'll be right yeah. back. <laughs> this is one minute and this is, yeah, that was the do you want to know more about the city of Denton, but you don't want to read boring newspapers or go online? Watch NT Scene. NT Scene is a fun way to learn about the Denton community, and it's hosted by real college girls. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi, I'm Jamie. And you're watching NT Scene. Hi, NT Scene rules. NT Scene is hot. Did you miss <laughs> Give me an M! Give me a T! Give me a seam! <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie, and you're watching NT Scene on North Texas Television. Stop. What are you doing? <laughs> so be sure to tune in to NTTV, Channel 22, Sunday through Friday at 12.30 and 5.30 p.m. Welcome back and good morning. This is that morning show at the set of the Denton Kids Club where there's lots of craziness. And Furbies. And Furbies. Well, it's just one. But he's cute. And a Furby. Yeah, yeah. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> Can you make him purr? Make him I purr. don't know. Here, let me see. Make him He doesn't <laughs> like it. Don't hit him on the head. <laughs> I just have fun being violent to Furbies. Furby. Sorry, I'm not a Furby hater. I just like to I don't know. Can you bop make him. him. Let me see. Okay, okay. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he likes that. <clears throat> <laughs> well. This show seems all about the. You're just the special guest today. He is the me. special True. guest. I wonder if he can sing. I don't know. Can you sing for me? See if you can get him to sing. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's, it's a tag. It's a tag. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. There are puppets over there. Oh, hello. What's your name? Hi. Singing Stephanie. Oh, Singing Stephanie's here. She can wow, sing for us. that's cool. Can you sing us a song, Singing Stephanie? That could be dangerous! Don't do it, Stephanie! He's trying to trick you! Yes. Oh, my yes. word! Yes. That's Woozle. Woozle? You can Woozle sing doesn't think she can sing. Um, and there's a giant behind me! Did you see him? I just saw a giant behind me! Well, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't see any giant. Okay, sing, see Stephanie. See Maybe it. the giant will go away if you sing. Okay! Uh oh, the Furby's trying to upstage you singing, oh. Stephanie. Think you own whatever land you land on. The earth is just a dead thing you can claim. But I know every rock and tree and creature has a life, has a spirit has a name you think the only people who are people oh, beautiful, beautiful are people <laughs> who look and think like you but if you walk the footsteps of a stranger you'll learn things you would never knew 
you never knew. Ooh. Have <laughs> you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? Or ask the grinning bobcat why he grinned? Oh, the giant's back! The giant's back! Oh, no. Can you sing with all the voices of the mountain? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? You can own the earth and still. All you'll own is earth until. You can paint with all the colors of the wind. That was beautiful. That was great. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Isn't she wonderful? How long have you been singing? Oh, for about 15 years now. Oh, wow. 15 years? You don't. Oh, really? How old are you? Oh, she's old enough. And Diva never shares her age. Oh, wow. yeah. That's great. I would be so scared to um, sing like that. I don't know. Oh. Did he just say scared? He did. This oh is freaky, gosh, man. Is our our Furby is possessed. <laughs> oh, he's no, possessed. He's oh, taking part oh, in this conversation. Oh, he is. <laughs> Who's the bitch that's scared? And then the Furby goes, gee, scared. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Furby. That's crazy. Well, Furby, thanks. Furby should be our You know, what host. if, like, Furby, if the only reason they put out Furbies oh, were just I'm to start scared. a I'm big brother thing with Furbies? I'm gonna go home now. I'll see you later. Later, like, we'll maybe there's a careful. camera. Watch out Furby is watching. Furby thanks is for watching. Thanks singing Stephanie. That was beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Bye! Whoa. Whoa! That's what Furby. Joey Lawrence. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, so what were we talking about? We were talking about uh, war. War and stuff. We were talking about war. What, yeah, you didn't got we have something sticker else? on. Yeah, oh, and there's a... No war yeah, in Iraq yeah, sticker. There, there's a protest this Saturday, There's a protest, right? yeah. Well, no, it, it's actually, it was last Saturday. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The 15th. Well, I gotcha, I gotcha. I, I don't know It how. was fun. I just yeah. have mixed feelings <laughs> about the war. Mixed feelings? Oh, I have yeah. mixed feelings because I... I believe that we should stand behind our president, and you know he knows a lot more than we know. Because the way I see Does it, he? <laughs> no, look, 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 look. The way I see it, our government with its intelligence and everything else, we would just our me like I work in the media. You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. I know exactly what gets censored and what doesn't get censored. Yeah. You know what I mean? We know just by working in this industry how much what you can really believe. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. By seeing what's on TV, and so I feel like the government due to its censorship, knows a lot more than we do. And oh, well, so yeah. Well, I believe that the media are all Republicans, and they got all the Republicans in the office. They got George Bush in the office back when there was a tie, you know. Yeah. Back when there was a tie, they just got him in. Well, hey, they're, they're all Republicans because they're all huge corporations. Exactly. And, every, and, exactly. and the Republicans have lightened up on the huge corporations and let yeah. them own more and more so they can control Big them. Big business if they, have, if they only have to go to five people to control our media, that's better for them. And that's what they want. You yeah, know? exactly. I just, that's the, a problem. The reason I have mixed feelings, though, is because I do believe we have to stand by my president. I don't believe in going to war. I don't want a war. But mm. my brother, they just took him on Tuesday and so That's I so frightening. it yeah. is because he's in the reserves and that really scares me because I did yeah. not think that the reserves a lot of people were going to get now, called up they? Yeah. they do That's scary. You know what I heard I it's like a big it's either a big waste of money if we don't go to war or the the, the worst they came and picked him up on a private jet like a, oh two gosh. army officers came and picked him up on a private like jet. Like from his house? From, was he like from the airport? No, from the <laughs> airport. But I'm just saying, like, that, they use spend it. a it lot of money, don't seriously, they? Seriously, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of money being spent behind these things. And obviously, my brother's important, and he's just a captain. You know what I mean? So obviously, something is going on in in this thing that's really big over there that we don't know about. And that's why I, my heart has to be behind the president because otherwise, I don't think I would be able to survive through this because it's too scary to not have faith in something. Yeah, well, that's I don't know. true. I heard that he's thinking of drafting and, like, 
even pulling people out of college, and that he wants oh, to, to draft. Mexico. <laughs> he wants to draft so many people, but the war in Iraq's only supposed to last like six months. So if he drafts all these people, it's for or Korea. shorter if they just nuke them. It's for Korea. Yeah, I have a big feeling that yeah. Korea scares me more than Iraq. Um, what about Germany? Oh man, <laughs> Germany. No, Germany what? is way Again? against us. There, what? I saw a newspaper that had a Wait. big American flag on it. And I don't know, it had, oh, it had guns and, and an oil, like a, and a gasoline nozzle. Mm -hmm. And then on, instead of stars, yeah. and then at the bottom it says no blut for oil, you know, in German, yeah. no blood for oil. But anyway, we have that's, to go. that's all the time we, we got today. To go. I just don't and, think uh, it's about just the oil. <laughs> oh, hey, birds. Go. They wanted to say bye, too. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for having bye, us. Birdies. Bye, birdies. Bye. Bye, Furby Simon. says bye. Furby says bye. Bye, Furby. See, he's gonna flap his ears at you. What did he say? He said, "We Toto." We Toto. I'm glad you understand Furby speak. We Toto. Furbish. But bye, bye from that morning show. I'm Tammy Heiser. I'm Sarah Jackson. I'm Robert Cam. I don't know if our <laughs> mics are on. Right. Oh my! Here comes. <laughs> Either Kurt's doing a shimmy uh. in the camera, or. <laughs> <laughs> now who's gonna pick up all these balls? You! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Good show, good show. Yay. Did we record that one? <laughs> <laughs>